Hey guys, it is Friday morning here in the Philippines and today we're unboxing the new Mini GT Nissan Z Proto Spec in yellow. Um, we got the left hand drive variant. This comes in left and right hand drive. It seems that the left hand is much more desirable here as always. Uh, I would have figured maybe right hand because Japan car, but anyways, it seems left hand drive is the dominant one here. So let's take a look at the box. This is an actual picture of the die cast, not the one to one car, Mini GT, and it has the Nissan Z Prospect, and I don't know if this is right, Ikazuchi Yellow on the top side, number, collector number 415. And we're to find Mini GT online and on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. On Facebook and Twitter, it is Mini GT64. On Instagram, it is Mini GT official. On this end cap, you have Mini GT and Scale 164 in white. This end cap, you have the Z logo. And on the bottom side, you have your age recommendation of 14 and older. And then the warning of a choking hazard because of small parts. On the back side, it just specifies on the UPC that this is the Nissan Z Proto Spec. And it is in the Ikazuchi yellow left hand drive. And you have your Nissan licensing and such. And then your TSM holographic sticker to signify that it is a licensed product from TSM models. So, let's get him out and take a look at him. And, as usual, they come wrapped in a plastic cellophane, but I've already taken it out to look at it to make sure everything is okay. And, there she is. And, we're taking it out of this handy-dandy plastic tray that they come in so it doesn't flop around in the box and get broken. But as you can see, it is very nicely done. The nice split five spoke wheel design. And you have all the body lines here for like the rear bumper cover, then the cuts for the front bumper cover, the door handle, and then your Z emblem here on the rear pillar. Then you have the mirrors, which they are rubber, but they are pretty stiff, so you need to be careful because they will break easily, it seems like. You have your acrylic headlight lenses, and the Nissan logo on the front, and that newly revamped Nissan logo that they did back, I think, in 2021, something like that. Then you have your big grill area with nice detail all the vertical and horizontal bars then you have the black chin spoiler along with the yellow parts of the chin spoiler the wipers are in the resting position at the base of the windshield and as you can see this is a left hand drive vehicle steering wheel is on the left and once again, you can see all of the body lines, which are very nicely done. Very nicely done model from Mini GT. Flipping it around, you have your red acrylic tail light lenses, Nissan emblem on the rear panel, and then the Z vanity plate, and your exhaust tips. And flipping it over, exhaust tips coming out of the muffler, which is also a uh, separate piece done in silver and it does cover the rear screw so if you do want to disassemble this and put some aftermarket wheels on it you will have to pop the muffler off to get to the rear screw the front screw is exposed and it is a button head phillips screw die cast base as always so you have metal on metal and putting him down on the table let's back up here and then Go downward to take a look at him, and it does roll pretty nice, so no issues with this bad boy. So, very nice model from Mini GT. And also, what we're gonna do maybe today or tomorrow, we're going to unbox the Hot Wheels Proto Z, and we're gonna compare that 
to the Mini GT. I know that's kind of not a fair comparison, comparing a $1 basic mainline toy car to a $10 adult collectible model car. But you will be surprised at how well Hot Wheels did with their version of this car. I don't have the premium one that comes in the two-pack with the Fair Lady Z. I just have the mainline one, but it's the same thing as the premium one. It just ha doesn't have a metal base and real riders. But besides that, same car. Uh, so we'll be unboxing that tomorrow and comparing it to this guy just to show you how well Hot Wheels did on theirs. So guys, I appreciate you watching and we will be back, as I said, maybe even later today or tomorrow with this comparison video of Hot Wheels versus Mini GT with the Nissan Z Proto. So thanks for watching guys, until next time.